Chandler. Congratulations on uh, the first All-American in the Roger Chandler era, Rayvon Foley. Uh, seventh place, right? Yes. How many How many qualifiers total? Three. Three, and then he was the only auto, right? No. Two autos. Two autos. And one, and one, Kathy got the wild card, right? Correct. Which, Kathy, I'll tell you what, the, the I don't think there's a ceiling for Kathy's growth. Would you agree with that? You know what? Kathy's an amazing wrestler. He's an amazing human being. And uh, he's, he's just level-headed. And uh, that's what you want from the wrestlers is, uh, you know, I call uh, I call uh, Cam Michelangelo and I call uh, Rayvon Picasso. Two totally different types of artwork, but uh, they're always hammering and going after it. Two, you know, guys that are younger guys that are, you know, well, they're going to be older guys here coming up, right? But you look at the, the, the how explosive those guys are. Um, the, I like watching them. They're really entertaining guys, explosive athletes. Um, you know, that's a good base for you guys to build on. Um, how do you get guys like that, and, and how do you get them to, to East Lansing? You got a guy from Ann Arbor and Rayvon, you know. He's a pioneer, pioneer. And, you know, Kathy, another game, once again, you know. How do you get athletes like that, and how are you guys recruiting, and what's changed from you, Minkle to you? You know, it, it, it's the culture. Our, our guys have bought in. we got a young team, um, 35. we got 35 guys on our roster, 31 are freshmen and sophomore. And uh, you know what? I mean, we have buy-in, and, and Rayvon set, set a standard today. You know what? Work hard, and your dreams will come true. And I know that's not you know, his end goal. He wants to be a national champion. You know, it can happen right here in East Lansing. And uh, you know what? We have a good group of guys. Here. What was your guys' duel record this year? Because I watched a couple of duels. I love watching you guys as a duel team. I like uh, your Michigan duel was competitive, okay? And then, you know, I watch your Central Michigan duel. I watch a lot of your guys' duels. And you got an entertaining team top to bottom, right? What was the duel record this year? I'm not sure if they're 10 and 8. I think we're at 10 and 8. 10 and 8. So you got a winning record. Ten, you got double digit wins. That's huge. That's hard to do in the conference, Jen. Okay, and I think that's a part of culture changes, making duels matter. I like the crowd at your duels, right? I like where you guys do it. You do it in Jenison still, don't you? That's correct. Up on the stage. But, you know, like, how do you restructure the culture, and how do you get that buy-in? You say there's buy-in. You say there's a change of culture. How do you do that? You know, it's just, you know, kind of explaining to the guys, you know, this is what you need to get to the top. And we are a team. It's not a bunch of individuals. I mean, we're a team, and... You know what? They all look out for each other. They're all pushing each other, and I, I really believe we have a really good team. And you know what? Every single one of these guys, the thirty-one guys we joined next year, you know what? They want to be all Americans. They want to compete for a national title, and you know that's where it starts. All right, what do you guys do from here to, you know, there's uh, obviously Akron comes up. Do you send guys to Akron? Do you go hit the freestyle circuit hard? And, and how do you go from here to there? You know, since I became head coach, you know, the process is you train, you compete, you evaluate, you train, you compete, you evaluate. And even though the off season is not a folk style season, it still gives you an indicator of where you stand. So, you know, we're, we're going to go right back to training. You know, these guys who are here this weekend, they're, they're, they're going to take, a, you know, 10, 12 days off, and then they're going to compete for the UW Juniors and the uh, Senior Nationals. And we're going to train, we're going to compete, and we're going to evaluate. And that, that's what it comes down to. That's the only way you get better. The competition is the best indicator of uh, where you stand. All right, we've got Parade All-Americans coming up here. It's always good to talk to you. I like to see the rise. You're an Ohio guy. I'm an Ohio guy. You got anything else for me? You know what? I'm just excited. we got our first All-American, and I believe it's it's, it's all up there. You know what? Rayvon set the standard. I know there's a lot of guys hungry in our program that want to be just where he's at. You know, Rayvon wants to compete for a national title, and I believe he will be a national champion. Hey, great year. Congratulations. We'll keep, we're going to keep it on the rise, all right? Appreciate it. Thank you.